Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of a tutorial on how to extract sequences from FastSafers using CTK. So you need to make sure that you have a Linux system and you should also have CTK installed. I have a tutorial that shows how to install CTK, so check the description box. You'll find a link to that video. So let's get started. And let me also say that the ebook as well as the script for this tutorial are all available on my Patreon channel. So check the description box for the link and then you can use that to get the materials. So take note of that. So for this tutorial, we are going to extract sequences from this first A file. So the sequence of interest can be found here. I will show you where to download the example data by the way. So this is what you are going to do. Let's first display the names of the sequences. So this is what you are going to do. We are going to extract the corresponding sequence for each of these names here. And then we are going to save them to different output files. In the previous tutorial, we extracted these same sequences. But then what we did was to save all the four sequences to a single output file. In this tutorial, what we are going to do is to extract the corresponding sequence for each of these names, and then we will save each of them to a separate output file. So that's what we are going to get. Let's display. So at the end of the day, we are going to get something like this for each of the names here. So what we are going to do is to write a bash script which will contain a loop and then the loop will take each of these names and extract the corresponding sequence from this file and then save to a separate output file. So that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. So let's take a look at the example command we will use. So we will visit the CTK page. There's a page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you are here, scroll down to the section here, this section. Extract sequences with names in file, like this one here. So we are going to use this command. You modify it a bit to suit whatever you are going to do. So that's it. Now, with the example data, you can find it here. This is the GitHub repo which has the example data. So the link to this page is in the description box. I repeat, the link to this page is in the description box. So when you are here, look for 60k underscore fast underscore episode one dot zip. So to download, click it. And then you'll be sent to this page. So when you are here, come to this side, then click on the download button. This will download the file for you. Alternatively, you can get a download link. That's what I'll do. So I'll get a download link and then download on my terminal. So I'll right click and then go to copy link address. So I'll move to the terminal now. So on the terminal, I will create a directory. That will be my working directory. So I will say make the sequence extraction. And then I will cd into it. So now I am going to download the example data. So I will use wget, so I will supply it to the link. So I type wget first like this, and then I supply it with the download link so i'll execute this command to download the example data okay the data has been downloaded so this is what we'll do let's clear the screen and continue so let's do an ls we are going to find the file there this is a zip file so we will now extract the content so i'll say unzip and then i'll specify the file name so this will extract the content. So let's do an ls. We are going to find the files there. Nice. So now we are going to write our bash scripts and then we are going to extract the sequences. But before that, let's just 
display the names again we have them here this is the first if file you can also take a peek into it but i will skip that for another time to just follow whatever i'm doing okay so now we can continue so we are now going to write the bash scripts and then in that bash script we will specify the things of interest which we are going to look at now so let's write the bash script so let's use a text editor so i'll use nano but you can also use any text editor via your hotel but i prefer to use nano so i'll use nano so i'll say nano then i'll say extract dot sh nice so now i'll indicate my shebang line and then i'll move to the next line so in the next line this is what i'll do I will first create an output directory. So I'll say make the outputs pass. Then I'll move to the next line. So this is where I write the loop. So I'll say for and I'll say for name in DNA. Okay, I'm listing the names, those that we found in a text file. So I have them here. So I'm just getting them. And then I also have this. So I have a total of four. So once I do this, I'll move to the next line and I'll say do. And I'll move to the next line. So here what we are going to do is that we are going to save the names to a test file because 60k requires a file which contains the names of the sequence of interests so we are going to do it here so we are going to say echo then we bring a double quote i'll say dollar name And then I'll save to an actual file. So I'll say name.txt. Please take note that this name is different from name. So make sure you are using this. Otherwise, you may overwrite the names file. So it's name.txt. And then the next line is what we do. In the next line, you will say 60k. And then we say subsec. We say james.fastA and we say name.txt. So that's it. So ctk subsec james.fastA name.txt. And then we also indicate our output file. So we use a greater than symbol and then we say dollar name. We should be in double quotes and then we say not first a so i did this what we are going to do but then to avoid getting the output files messed with other files we have to save them in this directory that is why we had this command to create it and so what we need to do is to indicate that directory as well so we will need to clean this and then rather say outputs files slash and then we bring the output file so we bring our double quotes dollar name another double quotes and we say dot first a so now this command is complete now let's scroll down now with commands it's also advisable to give us a prompt or to indicate a prompt to let us know or to let the user know what is happening so we can just say echo and we say dollar name in quotes and we say 
has been extracted then we add our double quotes again so this is to let the user know that that particular sequence has been extracted so that's what this is for but it's optional you can choose to not add this command now let's complete the loop so we say done so this becomes the final command so we first create our directory which will contain the output files and then we use a loop to iterate over each of the names and then for each of the names we save to a text file and then we call 60k we specify what we want to do that's a subseq indicates the first a sequence that we are going to extract the sequences from and then we also indicate the text file which has the name of the sequence we want to extract so that's it so after that we just add a prompt here it's, it's more like a notification by the way and then we can add this not that we can it's supposed to be there the done to complete the loop so that's how we do it so let's save the changes if you're using nano it's control x and then you type y and then you hit the enter button to save the changes so now if i do an ls i'm going to find this file there now this file here because it's linux by default we are not allowed to execute it so we have to add that permission so let's do that here let's do an ls so we will say ch mode space plus x and you say extract.sh so depend on your platform the linux platform if you do an ls you may see that the color has changed but don't worry if you have not seen any color change then don't worry i repeat don't worry if you have not seen any color change it's fine if the color has not changed it's fine it's, it's not any major thing so we proceed so now that you have this what you need to do is to execute the script so with the execution you can say dot slash and you say extra dot sh or you can also say bash extra dot sh so any of these approaches should be fine so just try any of them you can also try both as well that's fine so for me i'm going to use this one i'll say dot slash extract dot sh so i'll execute this command now perfect so the sequence have been extracted so let's do an ls we are going to find this directory output fast it has the sequences so we can say ls output fast so this will list the content first so we have four files okay four files here first for each of the sequences now let's just confirm so we will just do a quick search here let's do this so let's just look at this one for example let's take a look at the header so we can see grep I say outputs file slash fast a so we are going to find it there so this let's assume that everything has been done successfully let's also do a head so i'll do this and that will give me some sequences so we have that also here so this is how we extract sequences to separate or different output files okay so that has been done now let's take a look at something let's review our scripts so with the scripts we have the commands we have let's take a look at this session here the loop so we had four sequences and so 
using this approach was fine because it's a small number but if you have let's say 50 or if you have hundreds or thousands of sequences that you want to extract then this approach for specifying the sequences will not be appropriate it can be cumbersome so there are alternatives there are better approaches to do that which i will cover in other tutorials but if you have a situation where you have lots of sequences or let's say lots of names then you can always contact me and then we can work out something so that's what you need to know it is also possible to extract a single sequence from multiple fast a files let's take a look at this scenario here so i have four fast a files here and the gene of interest is here let me display it so i have that here these are staphylococcus aureus strains and this is a gene that can be found in all the strains that have been listed here so it is possible to extract the sequence of this gene from this 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 and this and place all of them in a single output file so this approach is useful if you want to perform a multiple sequence alignment and generate a phylogenetic tree so it's possible to do that in python for example and i've covered a tutorial where i showed how to do this in python so check the description box you'll find a link to that video